Debugging Windows Drivers with 332J Tag Debugger Trace 32 supports JTAG debugging for Windows systems running on ARM Cortex A and Intel processors. This video will present some key Trace 32 features. We will show you how to debug the interaction between a user process and the device driver. We use in this video a Trace32 Power Review for Intel x86 64-bit version of April 2018 with a Power Debug Pro and a Combi Probe connected to a Minomax board which has an Intel Atom E3825 processor. To configure the debug session, we use a demo script provided by Lauterbach. The Welcome to Trace32 dialog provides an easy access to all provided scripts. Push Start with examples to open the Search for Script dialog. Search for Minomax Windows. As I'm running a 64-bit Windows on my Minomax board, I'm choosing the Windows 64-bit example script. The startup script connects the debugger to the processor and sets up the debug session. Key for the Trace32 Windows debugging is that the Trace32 Windows Awareness is loaded during this setup. Trace32 Windows Awareness is an extension that Lauterbach provides for its debuggers. For its operation, the Trace32 Windows Awareness needs to access the global kernel pointers and structure definitions. So the kernel debug symbols need to be loaded. In case the kernel debug symbols cannot be found locally, a dialog appears asking for permission to download the kernel symbol file from the Microsoft Symbol Server. I will push the Yes button. We are downloading the kernel samples. Now the setup is completed. As you can see, an MS Windows menu is added to Trace32 Power View. We have prepared a demo application that will automatically load the demo device driver and communicate with it via IO control buffered method. Each second, the demo application will send a pink message to the device driver and the device driver will reply with the pong. Using the Trace32 Windows Awareness, I can debug our demo application from the start. To do so, I will use the menu MS Windows Process Debugging Debug a New Process. I just need to enter the name of the process and the function where the execution should be stopped after the process creation. I will just keep the proposed main function. I have set up a remote desktop connection to the target machine that I will use to start the demo application. As soon as the process is started, Trace32 will automatically load its debug symbols and stop the execution at the main function. We can see from the Trace32 status line that the T32 app is the current task. Moreover, the task process window shows that our application is running. This window can be opened by selecting the MS Windows menu, then Display Processes. A double click on the process name will open a window with more details about the selected process. By expanding modules, for instance, the list of loaded Windows modules can be displayed. I can debug now our demo application using single steps and breakpoints. The demo application will now install a device driver called T32 mode. You can see the name from the driver location parameter in the stack frame window. 
Trace32 also allows to debug device drivers from their entry points. Let's try this to debug T32 mode. To do so, I select the menu MS Windows, Module Debugging, Debug Module on Entry. I simply need to type the driver name without extension, then click on OK. As soon as the device driver is loaded, Trace32 automatically loads its debug symbols and stops at its entry point. The Task Module window displays the list of loaded Windows modules. Our module should now be listed there. This window can be opened by selecting the MS Windows menu, then Display Modules. I can now debug the driver by single stepping. Let's look at the function T32 Mod Device Control. We can see the source code, but instead of the assembly code, we get only question marks. What does this mean? Well, this is a normal behavior. Question marks here mean that Trace32 has no access to the memory to read the code. The reason is that the Windows operating system uses on demand paging, and this memory page will only be loaded after the first instruction fetch or data access is done in this memory page. I will set the breakpoint at this location. Trace32 automatically sets an on-ship breakpoint as we can see from the break list, because software breakpoints could not be used in this situation. After starting the program execution, we stop at the breakpoint. Now the memory page is loaded. Trace32 sees the memory and can display the assembly code. Now I will put another breakpoint inside the function T32 mode device control to check the message from the application to the driver. We can see here the ping message that the driver receives from the user application. Now let's go back to the application and see the response from the driver. To do so, I will first search for the function main using the menu View Symbols Browse Functions. I type main here. Let's put another breakpoint in the main loop to see the response from the driver. At this location, the output buffer should hold the pong response from the driver. This is the Pong response from the driver. As you can see using Trace32 JTAG debugger and the Windows Awareness, we have access to the total system memory, and this gives us the possibility to debug multiple Windows components at the same time, for example, a user application and a driver. This is all I wanted to show you in this video. The Trace32 Windows Awareness has more features. For more details, I invite you to look at the Artist Debugger for Windows Standard Manual. Thanks for watching.